So we're getting the Martha's Vineyard Christmas edition. This time, 50 migrants are being dropped outside of the vice president home. Apparently, the editorial is informing us that the weather is freezing. Is the weather freezing only in front of Kamala Harris's house, or is it freezing everywhere? Because for some goddamn reason, if you have the migrants at the border just waiting there and freezing in the cold, that's fine. You know, if they're freezing in a ghetto in Texas, that's fine. But if they're freezing in front of Kamala Harris's foam, then it's the Republicans to, pay, uh, to blame. You know, wh why doesn't she invite them into her home? Why doesn't she buy them a hotel room? I mean, surely she can. She's very rich. You know, I never understand why the Democrats do not use this as an opportunity for good optics. Like, for example, when you had the Martha's Vineyard incident, all Obama had to do was to allow those migrants into his home for two, maybe three days. Because that, that's literally how long it takes until the public forgets about it, right? And then he would have made the Democrats look like saints. It's like, oh, well, of course, you know, they're for open borders. Then they're even willing to open their homes. Uh, and it would also, uh, I, I guess, like make the right-wingers look bad. It's like, well, you know, they abuse these people. But look, the Democrats, they open their doors. It's like a, a story from the Bible with the Good Samaritan. They don't want to do that. You know, instead what we're going to see, and, and I'm predicting it, judging by past actions, uh, you're going to see that the Texas governor is going to be accused of human trafficking. Uh, you're going to see that uh, he's endangering people's lives. He's using people for his political gains as if this is not literally what politicians do. You know, like wh wh when they use vaccine passes and shit, what are they using people for their political gain? Like it it's literally the job of a fucking politician to use people for political gain. O on either side of the aisle, it it's your job, all right? I know it sounds bad, but like every decision you do affects people. E every political ideology you have is based on what other people think. It is impossible to be a politician and not use people for political gain, it 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 but whatever, you know? My, uh, my, my point here is that you're going to yet again see a massive spurg out in the media because uh, they were dropped off in front of a popular Democrat's home. Like, like whenever you, you have migrants being dropped off to, to God knows where is some ghetto, or even if, like, the government doesn't even care about them, and, and they just gather around in, in uh, shanty towns and camps, that's fine, you know? Like, that's working as intended. But, but the moment you start bothering rich people or Democrat voters with the presence of, of uh, immigrants, then it becomes a problem. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and by the way, I, I forgot to mention, you know, the, the accusations of people smuggling and whatnot. I am willing to bet that just like in the case of Florida, all of them signed consent forms. So with the Democrats that were sent to Martha's Vineyard, they all signed consent forms that they agreed to be transported to Martha's Vineyard. Now, the only question is, are they going to get the military this time? Because like at Martha's Vineyard, they got the military. You know, I, I really love the fact that, <clears throat> for those of you who remember the story from Martha Vineyard, they had the military come over and ask them, like, do you want to stay or do you want to come to a center? Now, when you have people with weapons asking you that question, I'm really curious, like, what would have happened if they said, nah, you know, like, we like it here at Martha Vineyard. We, we chose to stay. Like, we, we want to stay a little. I'm really curious, like, what, what the reaction would have been. You know, like, you have people... In uniforms, looking badass, asking you the question and expecting the correct answer. Anyway, right, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will find you in the comment section. Take care.